All right, welcome to another one. I made a horrendous mistake putting on this hoodie. It is like 21 degrees now, and I am, I am, I'm not fit. That hill, whew, not fun. So today I wanted to carry on my sort of get decent photographs with whatever camera you've got kind of vibe. So I borrowed my dad's Canon uh, Rebel XTI, which I think in the European market is the 400D. So um, let's have a look in the bag, let's see what we've got, and I'm gonna go have a look around this woodland and hopefully get some nice images. All right, so ignore the fact that this bag is an absolute disaster area. Um, this is what we're using today. We have got the Canon Rebel XTI and the 18 to 55 kit lens. And we have also got this beast, the Sigma 70 to 300 uh, F4 to F5.6. Um, this is kind of uh, one of those two to one macro lenses. And I use this uh, when I use my Nikon cameras and I had absolutely uh, no complaints about it for the price. I mean, these things are really cheap on the used market. You can get these for maybe 40 pounds. So very uh, very good lens and I would argue that this is probably the second lens you should have uh, when you're getting into photography not a 50 mil prime now this I think will be far more useful especially for landscape for uh, macro for general walk around type stuff this thing 7300 yes and finally we have the macro tubes um, these are electronic ones so I can use these on the kit lens all the 70 to 300 uh, I've got a 30mm, 21mm and a 31mm so I can vary the uh, minimum focus distance and uh, hopefully um, I get to use these today. All right, so let's talk through this first uh, warm-up shot, if you like. Uh, I've got a bunch of leaves on the ground on this path here. It's just a dirt path. Uh, but right here, we've got these roots that are just showing through the surface. So I'm going to use those as something like a leading line. And then we've got the path that takes you right through to the end. Uh, and it's brighter at that end of the path than it is at this end of the path. So obviously, that will draw you in as well. We've got trees either side. It's going to look pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's... Uh, Let's take that one. It's on a 10 second timer because I don't know how to change it to a two second timer. It's not my camera. All right, first one done. So let's talk a bit about this camera. Um, it's old. Um, the XTI is a 10 megapixel camera from, I don't know, I would, I would guess the early 2000s. But when you bear in mind that your mobile phones shoot 12 megapixel stills, um, we have things like super resolution now. And in most cases, you're gonna edit your photographs anyway. Now this shoots raw, so I'm shooting everything in raw. I'm probably gonna super res some of these images. So what you're seeing on the screen will actually be not a 10 megapixel image. It will be a 40 megapixel upscale image then it'll be edited and the chances are it'll look fine. Um, but these are the sort of cameras that I think are a bit overlooked. I mean, you can get one of these now used for about 40 pounds. I mean, that 
you know, relatively speaking, is nothing. So definitely check out the used market for things like these. And it's the same with these lenses. The kit lens, again, 30 to 40 pounds used. This Sigma lens, even brand new, they're only about 150 pounds. So on the used market, you probably get one of those for maybe 40 or 50. So you've got a really good, versatile kit that will do pretty much anything that you want. All right, I'm now using the 70 to 300. Um, I put it into its macro mode, which makes its minimum focus distance about a meter, I think. I'm not 100% sure without checking. So I can't show you the composition on the live view because this camera doesn't have it. Uh, so just bear that in mind when you're looking at these older cameras that they are very, very basic and some features just aren't there. So let me show you what I've got over here. So I found this snail, empty snail shell, and I figured popping it on this really cool looking rock log would make for a nice sample shot. Um, what I'm toying with the idea of doing though is sticking the macro tubes on this big old lens just to see how close I can get and try and fill the frame with that shell. Alright, so that's the snail picture done. Um, fills the frame more, more detail, and I, I quite like it that way. Uh, there are a lot of colourful leaves around here, so I might take some more close-ups of those. And then we're going to head over in that direction and see if there's any potential for landscape shots. Right, so I was going to try some landscape stuff, but uh, as you can see, it is very moody, very cloudy, and um, the weather is coming in. I can see it coming in over the river now, so I'm likely going to get wet in the next few minutes. So I've got this picture of this dandelion all ready to go. Um, I'm not going to go through the uh, composition because I'm probably going to get wet before I finish. So I will show you the picture on the screen. I'll put the settings on it so you know what's going on. But it was the XTI, Rebel XTI. Sigma 70 to 300. Here we go. So I've come back into the woods. Uh, all of these trees, or many of these trees, have these uh, uh, old dead vines all winding around them all uh, crazy, and, and it makes some really cool texture. So I've got two shots in mind, this being the first one, which is a wider shot, uh, the center of the tree, and the ones either side of it have got these vines all going up. Uh, there's a little bit of backlight, which I think I can work with in uh, Lightroom. And then I'm gonna go right up to the tree and do kind of like a looking up shot to get all of that texture in those vines as my final image. So I'll take this one and then we'll move over there and we'll continue. seen here is pretty much my composition. Um, I've got the 18 to 55 little camera as close to the tree as I can get on the tripod. Um, I'm using it at 18mm to really exaggerate the tree trunk in the foreground 
and let it really nicely taper off towards the top of the frame. All right, so there we have it. That is the Canon Rebel XTI or Canon 400D. Um, great little camera um, and incredibly cheap on the used market. So definitely worth a look if you're just getting into the game. Don't be put off by the 10 megapixels. There are ways around that and the pictures still look fantastic. So before I show you this final image, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel immensely. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the notification bell because I'm doing two videos every single week. If you want the presets, they're linked down below as are the socials. So hit me up on Instagram or Twitter and I will see you in the next one. So let's have a look in the bag and let's see what we're... This is a very good start. It's not. It's not every little bit. Stay. And the reason they get such good... Uh, <sighs>